everyone, Mike here, and I want to share with you my favorite deck to play in Star Wars Force Arena. This deck uses the Zabrak Assassins combined with the TIE Bomber to make huge burst damages on the enemy hero, take them down quick, and then get a good strong counter push going using Admiral Thrawn's buffing special ability. With this deck I climbed from about 2900 ladder points to around 3600 ladder points, and in the games I recorded to get this footage, I played 22 games, 13 of them I won, 7 I lost, and 2 I drew. So that's about a 65% win rate. I've played the deck a lot more since I recorded these videos, and I've gotten a lot more experience. I've gotten better at placing the cards and setting up the combo, but also the opponents have gotten tougher as well. But it's really all about the fun of getting that perfect play, and I hope you'll see from these clips exactly what I'm talking about, and that you'll be inspired to try this deck out for yourselves in the ladder. So let's go take a look at the clips. In this clip we see the assassin sneaking up on Luke. They jump on him and burst him down, but he doesn't run away. So we'll use our TIE Bomber to take out his mob and finish him off with our auto attack, surviving for a counter push. Here we see the assassins immediately destroy a level 2 Ezra. The bomber takes out the swarm and our assassins survive to counter push with us. The deck uses Light Vehicle, Sand Trooper, TIE Bomber, Stormtroopers, Bladesmen, Assassins, and Governor Price. Let's take a look at the TIE Bomber here. As you can see, it does 472 damage at level 3. The Assassins do 174 times 3 damage at level 4. This is what causes this deck to have huge burst damages. Let's take a look at some clips focusing on the Assassins. That right there is a level 3 Sabine Wren. Let's see what happens when the assassins jump on her. Wow, she died even before the TIE Bomber had time to finish her off. And it looks like we're going to go in and get this tower. This is what happens when assassins attack twice. If they survive long enough to do their attack two times, they'll usually take down the hero for you. If you catch the enemy's hero on the edge of their boundaries, surprise them by placing assassins on top of them. Assassins are also great for defending against enemy pushes. It can be difficult, but if you place your assassins right, they'll target the hero first, later on finishing off the enemy units that were played. Since the enemy units are already targeting your tower, your assassins have a high chance of survival to go on for the counter push. They have such high damage that after killing the hero in this shot, they also kill a gonk droid as well as his unique. This Lando is going to get hit, and then his tank will be destroyed, as well as his own hero, two assassins surviving. This tower is real low. Can Luke take it down before the assassins take him down? It seems that the assassins' DPS was high enough to kill Luke, and even one of them survived for the counter push. Assassins cost 4 energy, so you really want to make sure that you get your value. Try to avoid playing them near grenadiers like this. Wow, they all got taken out in one shot, wasting all my energy. In fact, the whole deck is vulnerable to grenadiers, especially with stormtroopers. If you see a grenadier, try to snipe it. Run ahead of your group, take the hit for the team, and take out the grenadier, then retreat. Look, you saved all your troops. Great job. The TIE Bomber is an amazing AoE card that's seeing more and more play, and it's easy to see why. It costs a little more energy, but does a little more damage, which means for every additional target you hit, you're getting more value. As the units start to get across to your side of the field, they bunch up more, making them vulnerable to the circular shape. Also, TIE Bomber has a moving and stunning effect on enemy heroes, which can either make them pause their attacks, or move them into range of your own units. I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard that on higher levels, the droids that repair and the Aqualish Engineer cannot be killed by an X-Wing, so the TIE Bomber is the perfect tool to take them out. One of the most fun things to do with TIE Bomber is to kill the enemy hero when they're at low health. 
It feels really good to know that they think they're going to survive, but you've got a trick up your sleeve. The TIE Bomber comes out of the sky and finishes them off. It does cost 4 energy, so it's quite a risky play. Make sure you do it at a critical time, such as this. Ezra's at low health and he's going to run to get his HP, but boom! His expectations are crushed as you kill him with the TIE Bomber. Feels good. We're going to end today by showing a video of one of my favorite games that I recorded. It's a really close game, so let's watch. We're starting off with Stormtroopers in the top lane, and Ezra is going to defend with flamethrowers and some rebel troopers. We're going to counter that mob with a sand trooper who gets great value. But now here he comes in with his gonk droid, his unique and his hero. The assassins defend and we're going to go in for a counter push with bladesmen and assassins. Looks like our special ability also created some stormtroopers so we have a huge mob to push in with. But Ezra's not going to take that lying down and he uses the flamethrowers for excellent defense, killing us and leaving Governor Price alive as a lone survivor to be killed by the Wookiee Warrior. Now that we've respawned, we're going to go back up to the top lane, place an MTV-7 light vehicle. Ezra's wondering what to do as we rush in with the buffed light vehicle. He places down his Marauders to counter. That's a good play, but luckily we have the counter for that, the Sand Trooper. He plays his unique to defend, and it looks like we're going to do some good damage on his hero right now. We create some more stormtroopers with our special ability, kill his hero, and we push in with the buff. This hero, or rather this tower, looks like it's going to go down. Let's go grab his HP. Ezra's coming in, but once this tower goes down, we'll be able to place units there. At least that's what I thought as I was killed. Looks like the assassins got placed anyway, but they were placed further back, and therefore they got killed. We're going to use a TIE Bomber for an excellent defensive play here, taking out his mob, and now that push is all but gone. Looks like with Governor Price and our own Blaster, we'll be able to kill Ezra here, as well as the units he placed, those rebel troopers. But look, our bottom tower is going down from a gonk droid. Oh no! Luckily we get a free kill on the engineer up here, and we're going to move in here with our buff to try to push on the middle tower. We put our stormtroopers back there for extra bonus units, but perhaps that was an overinvestment. Let's kite Ezra back and continue with the push. We're getting good hits on the middle tower here, and we place a light vehicle just in case we die so that we can continue the push in our absence. Place some preemptive assassins here, and they did lock on to his units. They were distracted by the Tal's Marauders. And here I die while I get to watch, in the afterlife, a gonk droid killing my top turret. Right as soon as we respawn, we're going to get back to defending our tower. TIE Bomber does a great job of this. Look how bunched up those units were, since they walked all the way across the map. Now we're in overtime, and the first person to kill a shield generator or a tower is going to win. This is a really close game. We play a light vehicle really far up there, getting super aggressive, because at times like these, going all in is a fun thing to do. The assassins jump on Ezra, and the TIE Bomber finishes him off. Disgusting. And it looks like we're going to be able to push in here for the win. All those buffed units pushing down the tower, that's what this deck is all about. Thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you'll enjoy trying this deck out for yourselves. Until next time, this has been Mike. Good luck out there.